Hello and welcome to Acoustic Review. My name is Ben Morgan Brown and today I'm looking at the 20th anniversary FA Limited Spruce OM from Freshman Guitars. Unsurprisingly, this guitar is an OM body size and features a solid Sitka spruce top and solid mahogany back and sides. It has a mahogany neck with a walnut fretboard and bone nut and saddle. The guitar is bound with mahogany, it features herringbone purfling, comes fitted with a Freshman MG30 preamp and pickup and has an RRP of £399. So let's have another listen to the guitar now and then please join me afterwards for my thoughts. I have to say that looking at the spec sheet and the guitar itself when I received it, I was pretty surprised when I found out it was under £400. There's some nice details such as the bound fingerboard with its thin line of perfling and the mahogany binding used throughout gives this guitar the appearance of being a higher end model. Admittedly on closer inspection a few things do give its price point away. The saddle is a little bit roughly cut and there's some finish build up around the neck join and there's also a couple of spots of finish that aren't quite perfect but Overall, it's well made enough with some nice premium feeling design choices. The first strum revealed a punchy, crisp tone, quite dominant in the mids but in a pleasingly woody and earthy manner rather than honky. It's dry without loads of ringing overtones and all in all I'd say it was very typical of a smaller bodied mahogany and spruce guitar. Clean, clear but not particularly rich and focused on the fundamental. I was expecting a generic undersaddle tone from the pickup, but through my AER amp I was actually very pleasantly surprised. 
It is certainly an understandable pickup sound, but I heard less ping and unpleasant artifacts than I normally experience, and I think you could be quite confident of getting an agreeable tone from this guitar live. I did struggle somewhat with the neck shape, which I would describe as a relatively deep D with a lot of shoulder. I tend to move my thumb around a lot when I'm playing, sometimes placing it over the top, sometimes flatter on the back, and I couldn't quite find a hand position that was comfortable. The neck profile itself is well carved, so your experience might very well be different, but it just goes to show how much neck preference can vary from player to player. Otherwise, the factory setup was fine with a very playable action and room on the saddle to come down a bit if you so desired. I can see this guitar appealing to anyone who is after a smaller body guitar without wanting to break the bank. The tone would work for a variety of styles and I think it would sit well in a mix and also work well with vocals. If you're a fan of lush overtones, it might not tick all the boxes, but if you prefer a drier, woody tone, you'll be in luck. At £399, I think this guitar is very attractively priced. It's all solid woods, it has a decent built-in pickup, and generally it's been well put together. Although it's part of a series celebrating Freshman's 20th anniversary, and the brand has won numerous awards over the years, it does feel to me like perhaps they are still a little bit under the radar compared to some bigger names on the market, which surprises me as when you're offering guitars like this for under £400, you deserve to be very prominent in the minds of players. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Acoustic Review. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be kept up to date when we post new videos, and I look forward to seeing you next time.